Hey guys, it's Teacher Dad. So today I'm going to show you one of my fish aquariums. And this is actually one of my aquariums that I have had and uh, modified. And so you'll be able to see some of the different decor and things that I've done in here. So basically what I did with this tank is I started with a sand base down at the bottom and then I put river stone on the top. Uh, I put uh, some other large uh, stone structures inside there. And then I had also planted uh, quite a bit of live plants all through there, the tank. Now there's only a couple of them over here on the one side that are still left, but otherwise um, I had originally planted it all full of live plants, but a bunch of them have died now. But uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today is not just the design of the tank. This is also one of the tanks that I use live plants in the filtering system. And so uh, it's sustainable, helps to uh, filter the nitrates and things out of the tank. Uh, and then also clean, keeps it clean. But also I wanted to talk to you about the uh, type of fish that I have in here. And so I have uh, some guppies in here. I have some neon tetras and I have a couple of garamis. And so what I had in here is I was actually able to have some live bearing guppies in here. And so what I had done is a friend of mine had loaned me uh, this little enclosure here. So basically what happens is this is a little um, hatchery type tank. Uh, it has slots in it that allow water in. And so what happens then is uh, the adults, uh, the females, are able to be in the top section up here. And then there are these tiny little slots down in the bottom section that when they do have their babies, it allows those babies to fall down into the lower section and then the mothers can't get at them because they will try to eat them if they are uh, left alone in a regular tank. As you can see here, what I have done is I moved these uh, guppies into their own little tank here and their own little enclosure. And so I had to keep them in here long enough so that they don't get eaten by the larger fish um, and uh, especially the garamis that are in here. And so they've been in here now for uh, about a month or two. And uh, so they're just about to the point where I could probably put them in. Um, but I want to make sure that uh, they're safe enough that they're not going to get eaten. And so then as you can see in the tank here in the larger tank in the back, uh, these are some of the babies that I've had, and uh, so they're getting bigger now. And uh, so I wanted to share that with you. So I wanted to share with you uh, the tank here and how I've been able to have some live bearing fish. And uh, so hopefully you enjoy this tank and the layout. And uh, I, I also wanted to share with you as well some of what I've done for being able to keep the tanks uh, self-sustainable and clean, and clean is that you can see I have various of the little tiny aquatic snails. And you can see one crawling along here. And they have been fairly self-sustaining. I actually got them by purchasing some live plants and un unaware of the fact that there were actually snail eggs in those plants and so when I uh, brought them here into my tank and got them all set up they have just kind of uh, exploded in their birth and uh, they uh, keep the tank very well clean this is a 55 gallon tank and I never have to do anything with it as far as keeping the tank clean from algae and so on and so been very happy with that um, so again wanted to share that with you uh, but hopefully you enjoy this tank and as we go along i'll uh, keep you uh, informed as to some of the other things that i'm planning and doing um, but uh, hopefully you enjoy this video and we'll see you again on the next one